Dear students, in this video, we will solve the problem number 8.4 from the chapter number 8. The problem is, so the 8 exit path in an ASM block emanating from the decision boxes that check the 8 possible binary values of 3 control variables x, y, and z. That means we will have 8 number of combinations using these 3 control variables. Okay, that means x, y, z. For x, y, z, what will be the combinations? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, okay and one 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 so these are the eight possible combinations okay so for this first four combinations what we can see this for this first four combinations we have x equal to zero and for the second four combinations we have this all the x values is one here we have x equal to zero and here we have x equal to one now let us make the sm chart so we'll have total of eight combinations so suppose this one is x okay so when x is 1 it will go this side and when x is 0 it will go this side now we have to check for y we have another variable y okay so we have to use another decision box okay so in this decision box we will have the variable y so here also we will have one value is 1 and another value is 0 when x equal to 0 it will come this side when y equal to 0 it will come this side so we'll have another box that is for z so another decision box that will represent z for z equal to 0 it will come this side and here at this point we'll have this one is 0 and this one is 1 suppose okay so for this value we have x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 so here we'll have 0 0 0 so out of eight combinations we have got the first combination that is 0 okay so when we have this one so this one means x equal to 0 y equal to 0 and z equal to 1 that is 0 0 1 okay next we have 0 1 0 okay so here we have this one is y equal to 1 okay so we have to check for z again so here we have to put a decision box and here we'll have this z here okay here when z equal to 0 this will come this side okay and when z equal to 1 it will come this side now when x equal to 0 y equal to 1 and z equal to 0 that means 0 1 0 so here we will have 0 1 0 in this path here in this path here we will have what will have it is 0 1 y is 1 in this path and and here also we have this is z is 1 okay that means this value will be 0 1 1 so we have got the first four combinations now let us go to our x equal to one part okay so this is x equal to one so here we'll have one another box decision box okay that is for y so y so when y equal to zero it will come this side when y equal to one it will come this side so when x equal to one y equal to zero and suppose z equal to zero so we have to put another decision box for z okay so this is z so when x equal to 1 y equal to 0 and z equal to 0 it will come this side and when z equal to 1 it will come this side okay so here we'll have the value this is 1 0 0 and here in this side we'll have this is 1 0 1 so here we'll have 1 0 1 now here in this side we can say that this is x equal to 1 and here y equal to 1 in this path so here we have to check for the z condition so here we have to put a decision box so when z equal to 0 and when z equal to 1 we have to see z equal to 1 z equal to 0 so when x equal to 1 y equal to 1 and z equal to 0 that means here we'll have 1 1 0 and when x equal to 1 y equal to 1 and z equal to 1 the control sequence will come this side okay the control will come this side so here we'll have one 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 that means we have got all the eight combinations using the three control variables x y and z so this is the solution of the problem number 8.4 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you